Hey, shalom, my shalom, when it's tough, so it's about giving no praise to Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Kodash, double honors to the apostles of GMS, and honors to you brothers doing the work in truth, wa, sincerity. What you're seeing here, um, you know, is, is, is a meetup of the congregation of the dead. My well, scripture says, Proverbs 21, 16, the man that walketh out of the way of understanding, you know, both shall, uh, but, you know, he, he shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Right, now these are two lost niggas, man, two lost jakes, right, and, uh, you know, uh, I'm, you know, I'm just going to focus on Polite in this one, because he makes a, you know, a statement, you know, and I'll play it through, it's a minute, um, I don't believe this will be a long video, uh, we'll see where the spirit goes, so I'll play it from the start, money, name, money. I don't care about the rest of that. I support what you do, I support your movement, right. and we know who is. I support your movement. Okay. And we know who your guy is. You already know. Okay. Black woman's my guy. Okay. But I think you guys black business. Every business he got that I can put my money in. You hear that shit, man? He says, yeah. he says, we already know who your God is. That's what Floyd says. And then, would you call it? You mean, hey, even look at this screen. You know, this where, where it pulls, man. He, he's, they're dead, man. They're dead. You know, because he said the black woman's his God. You know, so where, where, you know, how come she couldn't... Uh, uh, would you call it take herself out of slavery, right? How come she suffered the same way we suffered, right? She ain't got the answers. Hey, we suffered because we went off, and our power was there watching as we went off, right? And 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 as we suffered, right? Because why it was a fulfillment of prophecy, you know. But he's lost, and that's 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 why, that's why, the Lord is going to destroy two thirds of you niggas. In that land of America, and hey, and all wicked of our, of our people, all the sinners of my people shall die. Saith the Scriptures, right? It's Zechariah thirteen and eight, and it shall come to pass, and all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein, right? So this is uh, you're talking about of then the land of America, right? The wicked of Israel in the land of America, they're going to die. They're going to perish. Wicked niggas like that. They, I, I, want, I, want, I want the uh, the black woman to save you when, when uh, Russia nukes America, when England sends nukes to America. Right? When, when, uh, when Trump shut down the government, the black woman was crying to Trump. Right? The so-called black woman, the nigger woman. This is Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Right? The would you call the, the wicked of Israel, no matter where they are, they're going to get it. They're going to die. Right? Because they've not trusted in the Lord. Right? They've, they've, they've praised every other God apart from the Most High. You, you might tell polite. He's an Israelite. But he's still going to worship that nigger woman, man. And, you know, about these, all these black guys, man, you know, these Africans, they're, they're just all about that sex, man. They're not about the empowerment of our people, right? Even, you, you know, even if they want to talk that whole black shit, they're not, they're not in for the empowerment of black women. Whenever you see them in video with black women, it's a scantily clad, you know, a, a, a nigger woman that just look nasty, man. Through. And that's what it's all about for these guys. It's all about the carnal. It's all about the sex. What they talk about worshiping black women, but all they want to do is pop black women, man. Man, hey, over here we, we we read the scriptures, right? We read the uh, uh, the Timothys about the order, how a woman's supposed to be carrying herself, right? Adorned in modest apparel, right? We tell the nigga woman why she ain't no got no hair pursuing to Isaiah the third chapter, right? We tell them about the order which is good for the household. Right? 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. That's the order and that's good for a household. Right? That's that's how you maintain uh, order. And, or, or, hey, in every, if, hey, let's switch and say, let all things be done decently and in order. Well, it includes your household. How are you going to have two heads? Right? How are you going to, uh, 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 what do you call it? How are you going to... Um, uh, 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 you know, be worshipping someone who's really looking to you for protection, 
Well, and we're going to see that in these last days. Rice is a... Uh, Isaiah 32 and 2 says, And a man, well, an, a, 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 an elect man of Israel, why well, shall be as in hiding place from the wind, why well, in the covert from the tempest. Uh, 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 sure, let me read that again. And the man shall be as an hiding place from the wind, and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, uh, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Right. So, hey, this is um, this is talking about uh, 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 uh you know, in those days when things you know hit, you know, hit the hay, when 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 shit hits the fan, right. These, you know, these women, they're going to be looking for a man to protect them, a man of, of the Lord, right? Not the other way around, niggas like polite, he'll be left. He ain't going to want a nigga like that. And to be fair, we ain't going to want nigga women like that anyway, man, right? The Lord has a, 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 a women preserved for the men of the Lord. So Isaiah 4 says, And in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread, and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Basically, we won't be a burden unto you. Well, we won't burden you. Right, just protect us. Right, just take care of us. Right. This is Ezekiel 37. It says, The hand of Yahweh was upon me and carried me out of in the spirit of Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry right so as we said uh, um, in fact I'm gonna get it it's Proverbs twenty one sixteen: the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead right so if you ain't uh, which if you ain't uh, in this truth, you're you're dead, right? Which is what this uh, 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 this scripture is on about. These dry bones, these are dead Israelites, not right? spiritually dead, right? Fanani Amos needs. This is Revelation eleven and eight. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified, right? And 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 hey, that's that three uh, hundred and fifty years ago. Well, goes and say, and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. Right, representing the three hundred and fifty years between sixteen twenty and nineteen seventy. Right, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Right, nineteen seventy. Um, right, that's when this truth cut started coming out. So it's, it's you know it's a very important yeah. Scripture says, when thou set thy nest among the stars. Uh, uh, let me let me let me grab that list of butcher if I can find it. This is Obadiah one and four it says thou though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, right? Well, what's, what's the symbol of America? Right, the eagle. It was just basically it was a symbol of Edom. <laughs> the eagle was in the Roman Empire. You know that was a symbol as well. Right, it says, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, save ye how. Right, so when he saw set his nest among the stars, he went into space, was that 1969, 1970, right? And then you look at all of the things that started happening in that era, the, you know, the uh, LGBT was soon after, Roe v. Wade, which was the uh, ruling that basically legalized abortion, that was 1970s, I think maybe 72, right? Uh, uh, yeah, the year before that, 1969, you had Desmond Decker, uh, if I believe it was 69, uh, you know, singing, you know, the Israelites, right? Uh, and then, yeah, that's when this truth really um, started being pushed, right? So that's that three days and a half, 1620 uh, to 1970, right? It says, uh, and basically, as we just read in Proverbs 21:16. Right, this dead bodies, this this is metaphor being spiritually dead, right? In that great city is America, which spiritually is called Sodom, why? Because of you know that's once again that's the uh, the beacon of homosexuality. That's where it's pushed. You can't watch anything made in Hollywood anymore without you know some homosexuals in there, right? This is in Egypt, why? Because Egypt represents bodies, uh, uh, bondage, 
right? Then they go, you might be confused by where also our Lord was crucified, right? And and this is referencing the fact that that's where that image of um, you know, Serapis Christus, you know, Cesare Borgia is pushed throughout all the world, right? You know, some Hollywood productions. Right, so this goes back to Ezekiel 37. It says, The hand of Yahweh was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and called me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry and polite. Well, he, he's a very dry bone, man. Right, he says, and, uh, uh, and he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? <laughs> and I answered, O oh Lord, power thou knowest. Right, so then he said unto me, Prophesy unto these bones and say unto unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh. Right, and that's what we're doing out there, week in, week out, starting off with the apostles on down to the power of Yahweh, by Shem Shai. Right, you know, we're, we're prophesying unto these dry bones, right? You know, our people who are lost, you know, for you to be calling the black woman God, you are lost beyond comprehension, right? And, uh, you know, if, 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 if the Lord delivers you out of that, from, from among that, then, hey, praise the Lord. Hey, and that goes really for all of us, right, for bringing us out of the madness that we were in. Because you know, we were all doing some dumb shit before, worshipping some dumb idols, right? It says, and hear the word of Yahweh. Thus saith Yahweh power unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. Right, and this is talking about these, uh, you know, this, this scripture and the understanding thereof. These scriptures and the understanding thereof, much like in Genesis when breath was breathed in. Right, it's now lay sinews upon you and will bring flesh, bring up, bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you. Yeah, that breath. Once again, it's talking, you know, that's talking about that. Um, the same thing as in Genesis, right, when the Lord breathed. Right. It says, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am Yahweh. So you ain't alive unless you're in this truth, right? Which ye then find that really you're in this world, you're dead, right? But we're just, we're dead, but we have the spiritual understanding to know that we're dead. You know, we're spiritually alive, right? Whereas, you know, those niggas, they're dead, 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 right? Triple D, dead, capital D, dead, right? This is Exodus 20 and uh, 3. Simple. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Right? And hey, that's all the Lord said. Hey, hey, no, I don't have no. That, that's not easy. <laughs> right? You know, the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, he, 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 he can't be compared. He can't compare to him. Right? Everything you see, everything framed by his word. Yeah, you go and worship the creature more than the creator that Jake is through, man. And I'm a say shalom.